welcome to day five of Vlogmas. Um, again, you're getting another pre-recorded video, so apologies for that, but I am currently away and having, hopefully, <laughs> lots of fun at the Lay Family Yarn Retreat. Um, and I will share all of the fun that I've been having, all of the video footage I took, um, and everything like that in a vlog that will hopefully be going up tomorrow. Um, so, put up with the pre-recorded videos um, just over the weekend. Um, but today, I was going to talk about a couple of things. So every year when I knit my socks throughout the year, every time I finish a pair of socks, I put them aside and I pop them in this box here. Um, and then I don't wear them during the year, I just knit them and then I pop them in the box and then every December I grab out my um, box of socks and I open them and I start wearing them. So they're like a little, a little December treat to myself, if that makes sense. Um, so I thought I would share my box of socks this year. If you watched my Vlogmas last year, you will notice that there is significantly less socks in the box this year than there were last year. I think last year I knit myself 10 pairs of socks. This year I've knit... Ooh, there's the stuff in here that isn't socks. This year I've knit five pairs of socks. <laughs> Significantly less. Um, I don't know, we've had a busy year and I've talked about this on various vlogs and stuff like that. Um, we've had a very, very busy th year this year. We moved house um, back in the summer and I've also had quite a busy year work-wise with multiple shows in September and October and just general chaos. So, um, as a result, I've not had as much knitting time this year and I've just not found as much time to knit even outside of kind of evenings and stuff like that, which is why there were only five pairs of socks in this box. But they're nice socks, so let me share them. I'm trying to work out where to put things. Right, let's put this here. Um, in I'm wondering if there's a particular order to these. I don't think there is. In no particular order, then, I will share the socks. Um, so my... Christmas Eve cast on were these socks. I should go and get my sock blockers. I'm gonna go and get my sock blockers and I will be right back. Okay, I'm more organized now. I have a sock blocker. Um, so these socks were my Christmas Eve cast on last year. Um, and the yarn I used was um, from Debbie at Down Sheepy Lane. Um, it was a Christmas box. Um, I think so. It was a Christmas box of some kind. Um, <laughs> that sounds daft, doesn't it? Um, she did like a Christmas, you got a bag and you got um, the yarn and it was all, it, the, the, I'm not explaining this well at all, am I? The yarn and the bag, the fabric matched. Um, so yeah, this is the gorgeous yarn. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and I knit a pattern sock. Um, so this is, don't focus on my face, focus on the sock. There we go. This is the Autumn Adventures sock pattern, which was a pattern by Jessie Marie Makes. Um, it's really, really pretty and really effective. It's kind of a textural um, with um, knits and pearls, basically. Really, really simple, um, but really, really effective. Um, so, and I did, I did make a pair, obviously. Um, so yeah, that was my Christmas Eve cast on this year, last year, last year. Um, and there's a little bit of a festive theme actually to some of my socks because the second pair of socks I'm going to share that I knit is these ones, the, these ones here. I'll pop one on the sock blocker and these I knit with my Giddy Yarns um, 2020 advent calendar which was all inspired by the history of Christmas. Um, so this is, this was the advent calendar. I just did um, five rows of each colour and um, knit myself a pair of scrappy socks, basically. I did a lot of maths <laughs> to work out. I know that I do 65 um, rows for the foot of my sock. So I worked out how many rows of each colour I would need to do in order to be able to knit a pair of socks that um, was the right length for my foot and have work out how long the leg would need to be if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, these are all the colourways from last year's advent calendar. 
I won't go through all the colourways because I'm not sure I'd remember them all. It would be quite a good challenge, wouldn't it? I kind of do want to go through them all. But I probably won't remember them all. No, no, I'm not going to because I can't remember them all. Um, but yeah, so that was knit with my 2020 Giddy Yarns Advent Calendar. Um, and again, there is a pair. <laughs> um, so it's going to be nice to wear those ones, actually. And then I also knit a pair of socks. Um, ah, and in fact, I'm going to pop both of these on the sock blockers because this is a really interesting um, show of kind of how... Um, sometimes um, your gauge can change mid product and it can really affect the way that a colorway knits up. Um, so let me grab the other one and pop this on here. I knit a pair of socks. I knit the picnic blanket socks by um, Helen Stewart, um, Curious Handmade, using a skein of yarn in the colorway, I think it was called Faded Christmas by Erin Henny Penny Makes. Um, and they, the foot of these both knit up completely differently, which is really interesting. So this is the colourway. Um, and as you can see, the foot of this sock um, spiralled, whereas the foot of this sock didn't. Um, so they both knit up really, really differently. And that is purely down to my gauge. It's got nothing to do with Erin's yarn at all. Um, it'll just be that for some reason one of these I knit at a looser gauge than the other one Maybe I was stressed when I was knitting one of them. Maybe I was more relaxed um, It can all affect your tension. It can all affect your gauge um, But yeah, that's the picnic blanket socks. I've not really obviously I've not worn them yet But it's going to be interesting to wear these. I think these are going to be more of a cozy bed sock I can't imagine wearing this kind of slouchy texture um, sort of as everyday house socks so maybe these are going to be cozy ones to pop on in the evening um, but that is the third pair of socks that I knit last year um, and then I've got um, a pair of stripy socks now I've forgotten the colorway name from this but these are um, these were Desert Vista Dye Works yarn I believe um, uh, it was a it was a skein of yarn that was very very kindly gifted to me by a lovely viewer of the podcast and I knit socks almost as soon as I'd received it um, but it is this lovely fun kind of rainbow rainbow yarn um, really really lovely I'm looking forward to being able to wear these I do love a pair of stripy socks and yet yeah, as I said there's always a pair I'm just only showing you the one on the sock blockers um, and then the final pair of socks that I knit is a um, commercial sock yarn. Um, and I need to knit up more of my commercial sock yarn because I do love um, commercial sock yarn. And I'm looking forward to wearing these because I just, I like wearing commercial sock yarn as well. Um, so that is these ones here. So this was an opal colourway. It's part of the opal fairy tales range. Um, and this colourway was... Um, oh, I've forgotten I translated it. It's Elfen Larken, which I believe I translated to something like Laughing Elf or something like that. I can't remember now. Um, I'm sure there'll be a number of you out there who speak German who know exactly what Elfen Larken... Um, let's see if I can... Elfen Larken, there we go, um, means. But I think it was something like Laughing Elf or something like that. Um, but I love this colourway. These are such fun socks. I've actually got a couple more balls of the um, I've got a couple more balls of the fairy tale opal yarn, um, which I must cast on at some point. I need to knit more socks this year. I really, really do. So that is all of the socks that we're in my sock box. Um, five pairs. It's not a lot, is it, compared to um, previous years? But sometimes that happens. Um, yeah. The other thing I was going to do um, is have a little pick or get you to help me pick the yarn for my Christmas Eve cast on. Um, so I will share some yarns that I've dug out as possibilities and let me know in the comments down below which one you think I should cast on as my Christmas Eve cast on um, and whichever one gets the most votes I will cast on.
So let me just move these out the way. There we go. So I've dug out a number of skeins of yarn here. How many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine skeins of yarn. And in fact, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to flip you around and show you the skeins of yarn on the table, give a little bit of explanation of each of them. And then, um, yeah, let me know in the comments which one you think I should cast on for my Christmas Eve cast on. Okay, here we go. Here are all the possible options for my Christmas Eve cast on this year. So we've got um, Craft House Magic. This is one of the colourways from the music from the movies. I just thought it was such a lovely icy blue colourway, it would make a good winter cast on. Um, and this is the I Will Always Love You colourway. We have got a self-striping sock set from London House Yarns. This is their Merry and Bright colourway, so it is a self-striping yarn. We've got Lupins from Hedgerow Yarns, not particularly Christmassy, but I just thought it was quite, I don't know, I might do a pattern sock and it looked slightly festive to me. We've got this colourway from The Wool Kitchen, which was the Let's Go Outside colourway from um, one of the Mystery Gems. And again, I just thought they were quite festive colours. We've got this colourway. Now this is an absolutely ancient Giddy Yarns colourway. I mean not only is that my old labels, I did Christmas labels, the um, colourway name is handwritten on the back in Tom's handwriting actually, he must have been helping me. Um, this was one of the first Christmas colourways I did back probably, oh goodness, four and a half years ago it will have been. Um, but I just thought it might be fun to knit that as my Christmas Eve cast on. Um, and then I've got this skein of fine fish yarns, which again, I just thought it was a very wintry colourway. Um, this is the merry-go-round colourway. Again, it was another mystery gem colourway. I've got this little sock set from London House Yarns, which I've had in my stash for a long while. Um, and it's one of their Christmas colourways. It's really, really pretty. Um, I've got this skein of Nora George yarns which is in her snowman colourway. And then finally, I've also got this ball of Regia Perfect yarn. Um, I've never knit with any of the Regia Perfect um, yarns before, um, but it was in quite a festive, I thought this was quite a festive colourway. Um, so that's also a possibility for my Christmas Eve cast on. So place your votes for which colourway you want to see. Hello, it's time to finish off today's vlog with a joke of the day. <laughs> what do you call a snowman with a six pack? An abdominable snowman. <laughs> <laughs>